Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's 5th grade, Module 14, Lesson 3. I'm going to start off by going over the I can objective. It says I can use benchmarks or rounding to check the reasonableness of decimal sums and differences. The learning objective is to assess the reasonableness of decimal sums and differences. The prior learning is that students fluently added multi-digit whole numbers and students fluently subtracted multi-digit whole numbers. So moving into the lesson, we're on page 347. We start out with a Sparker learning and it says Mr. Gilbert downloads two files onto his computer. The table shows the sizes of the two files. He says that he downloads about two megabytes of data. So in this little red, I'm sorry, this little blue rectangle, we have a file one and a file two. File one says 1.27 and file two says 1.79. So Mr. Gilbert said the two of those combined was about two megabytes. So we have to show whether that's true or false. And underneath it, it says, is Mr. Gilbert's statement reasonable? Justify your answer using a visual model. So the visual model that the teacher answer key shows is a number line. So I decided to stick with that. So on a number line, if I am going to be dealing with 1.27 and 1.79, I know those numbers are between one and two. So I'm going to have the beginning of my number line be 1. There's no point in doing 0 to 1 because we know everything's going to be between 1 and 2. So I'm going to expand that 1 and 2 and make it really big so we can see what's going on. So if 1 is right here at the beginning, 2 is right there in the middle. So then for the different parts, I'm going to make that red. So I know that my benchmarks are 1 fourth, half, and 3 fourths. Those are fractions that are really easy to understand, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark those. So halfway would be half. Half of a half is 1 fourth. And then on the other line, if I had that half of a, that half of a half, I would have 3 fourths. All right, now I'm going to mark where my actual points are in blue. So I have 1.27. I know that 1.27, well, 27 is pretty close to 25, and 25 is a fourth of a whole. I know that, think about quarters, right? There's four quarters and a dollar. If you have 25 cents, you have one quarter. That means it's one of the four quarters that you could have. That's what I think of when I think of my benchmarks, because they're all in fourths. So if I have something close to 25, it's going to be about one fourth. 0.27 is a little bit past my one fourth point, my one and one fourth. So it's going to be about here, and that's going to be my 1.27. Now, if I had three quarters, right, three fourths, three quarters, as in money, I would have 75 cents. And the second file says it's 1.79. So again, that number is just going to be slightly past that three-fourths mark. Now, if I was looking at it and I was having to round my numbers, my 1.27 is closer to the one, right? If I was just looking at the whole numbers, I could do this with fractions if I wanted to, but I'm just gonna do the whole numbers. So the 1.27 is way closer to the one. And then the 1.79 is way closer to the two. And that little squiggly line just means about. So if I have about one and then about two, if I added them together, would I have about two? No, of course. If I have about one and about two and I add them together, I'm going to have about three. So he's off by an entire megabyte. So we would just go ahead and say no. All right, let's go ahead and flip the page. We're on 348. The table shows the sizes of two different video files. Miss Lee says that she uses 0.22 gigabytes more for a video file A than for video file B and that she uses a total of 0.96 gigabytes for both video files. So again, it's something very similar showing that blue table. This is video file A is 0.74, remember quarters, and then video file B 
is 0.52. Again, remember quarters. How many quarters? How many cents would you have if you have two quarters? 50. <laughs> so for A, locate points on the number line to show the size of each file. So go ahead and make dots where the 0.75 and 0.52 are supposed to be. For B, which benchmarks on the number line? That means the numbers that are already there, that 0.25, the 0.50, the 0.75, and the 1. So which of those benchmarks estimate to be the style of, of each video file? And then how do you know? C, is Miss Lee's statement that she uses 0.22 gigabytes more for video file A than for video file B, is that reasonable? And then explain. And D, is Miss Lee's statement that she uses a total of 0.96 gigabytes for both the video files reasonable? Explain. All right, go ahead and try these four problems on your own and then come back so we can solve them together. Go ahead and hit pause here. All right, great. Let's go ahead and solve these together. So for A, I'm actually going to do it in a different color than black. Let's go ahead and do it red so it stands out. So for my 0 0.74, I know if I'm thinking cents and I'm thinking quarters, which is the best way to find benchmarks, 74 cents is pretty close to 75. And I know that if I have three quarters, I'm going to have 75 cents. And again, that was if it was in a fraction, but this is already in a decimal. So I know that 74 and 75 are right next to each other. So I'm going to put my red dot just slightly before that 75. So here's my 0.74. Then my 0.52 is just past my 0.50. All right, now it says, which benchmarks on the number line can you use to estimate? Well, I'm going to use that 0.50 and that 0.75 since they're right next to each other and they're my benchmarks. So for this, I'm just putting 0.50 and 0.75. How do you know? Because they're close to them. You can write more than that if you want to, but I think this shows understanding if you just say that they're close. All right, for C, it says, is Miss Lee's statement that she uses 0 0.22 gigabytes more for video file A than for video file B? Well, in A, if we're using those benchmarks, we would have 0.75 minus the 0.50. Now, 75 minus 50 is 25. So using my benchmarks, if I figured out that, that was 0 0.25 is the actual answer that she gives of 0 0.22 reasonable. Yes, again, because 0 0.22 is really close. So we would want to say yes. Now for the last one, it says, is Ms. Lee's statement that she uses a total of 0 0.96 gigabytes for both video files reasonable? So this is saying total, this is adding both of them together. So again, using my benchmarks, if I had 0.75 and now I'm adding it to the 0.50, what would that be? Well, 75 plus 50, if you were going to add that, it would be 125. But since we're working with decimals, that 100 would be in the ones place. And then we would have 0.25. So it would look like this, 1.25. If you wanted to add those, line up your decimals, your one would carry over past the decimal. All right, so if I, my benchmarks say 125, but then my answer says 0 0.96. I'm gonna say no, because the 0 0.96 is just too small. Not quite big enough for the estimate. All right, that is it for this lesson. Go ahead and finish up the rest of your problems and I'll see you back here for lesson four.